I am Anil Kumar sharing with you questions to review probability. The question here is, in a club of 15 members, 4 have university degrees. If a random poll of 10 of the club members is taken, what is the probability that at least 2 of those polled have university degrees? So that's the question for you. So at least 2 have university degrees, that is what the question is. So in a club, we have 15 members. So total number of members is 15. So N in our case is 15. Four have university degrees. So, so we say university degree is with four. That means without university degree, we have 11, right? So that is how this distribution is. If a random poll of 10 of the club members is taken, so R, the value which we are taking is 10, what is the probability that at least two of those poll are with university degrees? So we are looking for a probability where the random variable will be at least two of those polls is having university degree. That means two or more should be having, right? So x value should be greater than, I should actually write uh, greater than or equal to 2, right? So at least, that is what it is. Now, here we have defined the random variable as the selected member having a university degree, right? So in our case, we are defining random variable as selected or poll member with university degree. Is that okay? So that is how we have defined it. Now when we say that the probability is greater than or equal to 2, total probability is 1. So, so we can actually get like this. Probability for x greater than or equal to 2 will be equals to 1 minus probability for x less than 2. Is it okay? So, so that makes things a bit simpler for us, which could be equal to 1 minus probability when none of them has university degree. That could be one case or the second case will be when x equals to 1. So let me write this as probability when 1 has university degree. Is that okay? So that is how we can think about it, right? So now in this case, uh, none of them having university degree. There are four with university degrees. We are selecting none of them, right? Therefore, that should be 4C0. So that means all which have been selected are without university degree, right? And we are selecting how many? 10 of them, correct? So all 10 selected are without university degree, so it would be out of 11, 10 will be selected without university degree. If you select 1 with university degree, then it becomes 4C1 and that becomes 11C9 will be selected. So, so these are the selections and total number of combinations for each are how many? The selections are being made from a group which has 15 members and we are selecting 10 right so therefore they should be divided by 15 c 10 is it okay so that is the probability so the probability for none of the member with the university degree is 4 c 0 times 11 c 10 divided by 15 c 10 and the one with one degree will be 4C1, 11C9 divided by 15C10. So that is your answer, right? So now you can actually calculate these values using a calculator and then find the answer. So, so we have 4C0, so it is 1 minus. 4C0 means 1, right? 11C10 means it is uh, 11, correct? So let's calculate what is 15 C, so it is 11 over 15 C 10, right? So 15 C 
10 which is equal to 3003 right 3003 correct minus so now we have this term 4c1 which is 4 anyway let's okay so it is 4 4 times let's do 4 times 11 c let's calculate this value 11 c 9 which is equal to 220 so we get this as 220 divided by 15 c 10 we calculated 3003 correct so let's figure this out this is equal to how much so 1 minus uh, 11 divided by 3003 and then we'll again take away 220 divided by 3003 I should actually put them in brackets sometimes they create problem right especially when you're combining with addition subtraction so you get 12 over 13 as your answer which in decimals you could write as equals to 0 0.923 okay so that is the probability for selecting a committee with at least two members which have university degree right so i hope it helps you to understand the concept right this is also an example of hypergeometric distribution since we have success or failure success we are saying selection of a member with university degree these are actually dependent events right these are all dependent events once you select a member then the population changes right so it's a dependent events with two outcomes success or failure so it's a case of hypergeometric distribution i'm anil kumar you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best